it's Cory, and today you're gonna learn how to play Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. This is a great tune to play because we changed the key to make it a little bit more beginner friendly. It is only seven chords, and a lot of those chords are one finger chords, actually. Over half of the chords are one finger chords. So it's a great tune that uses a lot of really basic chords, but it sounds awesome. So with that, let's just jump into it. The first chord you're gonna to need to know how to play for this song is an A minor chord. That's just gonna be your second finger placed on the fourth string, second fret. Next up, we have the C major chord. That's your third finger placed on the first string, third fret. After that, we have the C7 chord, which is our first finger placed on the first string, first fret. Then we also have our last first finger, or last one finger chord rather, and that is going to be the C major 7 chord, which is going to be our second finger placed on the first string, second fret. From here, we also have the D minor chord, and D minor is your first finger placed on the first fret, second string, your second finger is gonna go on the second fret, fourth string, and then your third finger is gonna go on the second fret, third string. We're also using the F major chord in this song, which is very similar shape to the D minor, it's just taking off a finger. So you're taking your first finger, placing it back on the first fret, second string, and then your second finger is gonna go on the fourth string, second fret. And then lastly, we have the G major chord. For that, you're taking your first finger, placing it on the third string, second fret. Then you're taking your second finger, placing it on the first string, second fret. And then your third finger is going on the third fret, second string. First thing you wanna do before moving into any other part of this video is make sure you're really, really comfortable with those chords. If you're not, some of the strumming is gonna be a little tricky because we're actually splitting the strumming pattern between chords for this song, but don't worry, it's gonna be very beginner friendly. A couple things of note for transitions though, we do often move from our A minor into our D minor. So for that, just keep in mind your A minor is right here. And for the D minor, you're just putting down your first finger and your third finger. You do not need to do a full lift for this. So see how easy of a transition that is? Also, at the beginning of the song, we have an intro section, which then just gets repeated a lot in the verses. This transition is a C major to then a C major seven to then a C seven, back to a C major seven, and then ultimately it goes back to a C. So just note that I'm not lifting anything. I'm not doing a full lift here. I'm just walking up the uke over time. So you don't need to do like C major, lift completely, C major seven, lift completely. Just as you play your C major, lift and place at the same time. Time. They'll make it a lot easier, so practice those things before moving into the strumming pattern. Speaking of strumming pattern though, we're only using one for the entire song, which is really nice. And the strumming pattern will get split in the chorus section, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. So the main strumming pattern we're gonna be using, I'm just gonna demonstrate on a C major, because that's what we start the song on, and that's what we'll be playing with the intro, is a down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So slower, that is a down, down, and that takes place over beats one and two. And then split between beats three and four, we have a down, up, down, 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 up. Slowly play together, it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And then again at time, it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So now that you know a little bit about how the strumming patterns can be broken down, let's take a look a little bit of how it gets presented in the tune. So for the intro section, you're just going to be playing one strumming pattern per chord. So the intro will sound like this. repeat that almost two full times for the verse. The only difference is on the second repeat of it, rather than going back to the C major, you're gonna go back to the F. And you're going to repeat this all in verse two as well. With the words, it sounds like this. One, two, here we go. And oh, kiss me. In the chorus 
section, I have the chords bracketed that indicate which chords you'll be spreading out between the strumming pattern. When you see two chords in the brackets, what you're gonna do for the first chord is play the down, down part. And then for the second chord, you'll play the down, up, down, 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 up. So in the first line of the chorus, we have a D minor to a G and then a C to an A minor. So it would sound like this. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Slower. It's down, down, switch down, up, down, 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 up, C. Down, switch down, up, down, 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 up. Played with the words, it's like this. Oh, kiss me. do this throughout the entire chorus until you get to Silver Moon Sparkling. On Sparkling, you just play the F for the full down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Then we get to the G. For the G, you're just going to play three downs. So that transition will sound like this. And then we go into the C major again with Kiss Me. out the chorus. So between knowing how to switch and when to switch your chords in your strumming pattern with the chorus section, everything else is very, very straightforward with this song. You will have a little bit of a reprise of that switching chords in the middle of the strumming pattern during like the guitar solo section. We're not going to be taking the guitar solo, we'll just be playing the chords and essentially it's like the first two lines of the chorus. After that little interlude, we'll go right back into the chorus section. And when we get to the end on the so kiss me, you can repeat the C to C major to C7 to back to C major to C as many times as you like. All you would do is when you eventually get back to the C major, you would just repeat again, so kiss me. If you want to end out the song though, all you have to do is just end on a single strum on a C major chord on the final kiss me. Other than that, that's pretty much everything that you need to know to play this simple version of the song. So I say, let's just give it a play along. One, two, here we go and...
learning how to play an easy version of Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. If there are any other tunes that you'd like to see made into a play along or a tutorial, make sure to comment down below and like this video. Also, if you're looking for the song sheet for this tune or any of my other play alongs and tutorials, make sure to check out my Patreon and the link is in the description box for that. I keep all of my song sheets there in addition to a lot of other resources and it also has voting opportunities like this tune. This is a tune that my patrons voted on that they wanted to see made this month and so that's what happened. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye! Kiss me.